Libraries have stood the test of time. They have existed for hundreds, if not thousands of years, and from the ancient Greeks to modern day New York, every major civilization has had a library. But along with libraries, another important art has survived the testament of time. Music. Both music and libraries have been passed down for thousands of years, and they both tell stories about the people who have come before us. Our ancestors and their ancestors and so on have passed down something to us in the form of music and books, which makes remembering them through music and books all the more important. Especially in the Bay Area, where we tend to forget about our history and our ancestors, remembering our culture is all the more important, which is why Eternity Band created the Chinese music feature at Newark Library, as it is the perfect way to not only learn more about the music that has been passed down from generation to generation, but do it in an environment that is similar been passed down for hundreds of years. But before the concert can begin, we need to talk to Aaron, the president of the James Logan High School Audacity Music Club, and one of the main organizers behind this event. Today's show is, uh, is special because we have our Chinese music feature at the Newark Library today, and so today we'll have a lot of traditional Chinese music. We'll have a few groups uh, performing today, and we first have the Guqing Association. We also have a few Guqing people. We, and we also have some presentations about uh, tra some tra traditional Chinese instruments. On top of that, we have some Chinese pop music. Um, there will be there will be a family ensemble playing playing it. So yeah, uh, today will be a pretty high level show. There are, there's a lot of semi professional. Um, performers today, so I look forward to it. As the show is just about ready to begin, another important man comes into the limelight. After all, this show would not be possible without the support from the Newark Library. I'm Joe Stoner, the Newark Library Manager, and I'm very excited to be hosting the Chinese Music Future for our monthly music hour program at the library. I am a musician as well. I grew up playing trombone and band all through high school and college. And I really believe in the power of uh, performing music to uh, help us all learn to express ourselves more and to develop confidence. This is really what the Music Hour program is about. And uh, I wanted to see opportunities for people of all ages to get to perform music that they are passionate about. And today is especially special because we get to feature music uh, from the Chinese community, which is a really important part of the immigrant community in all of the Bay Area. So that's uh, what I'm really uh, excited to be able to, to do to host this program. Thank you. Almost immediately after we got inside, the packed audience sat down and Aaron's speech began. Everyone, welcome to today's uh, Newark, uh, Newark Library, Music, uh, Library Music Hour. Today's a very special one. We have our Chinese music speaker today. $100 uh, dollar donation items include a roll-in electric piano and stand, three uh, just, uh, pairs of speakers. The donation Aaron mentions comes from various sources surrounding Eternity Band, such as color vision and band concert donations. Here's Claudia to talk more about the donation. Hi, I'm Claudia. I'm a member of the Color Vision, which is, which is the group that donated money for this uh, ceremony uh, for Music Hour. Um, uh, the reason why we donated is because, well, first of all, like we are a volunteer group and we want to help the community and like we didn't really know what to do with the money so we decided to donate uh, for uh, Aaron's Music Hour uh, equipment. To the concert and our program. Um, so this afternoon, we are excited to bring the Guqing music to our local community. China's oldest stringed instrument with a history of more than 3,000 years. And it's viewed as a China's, uh, it's viewed as China's uh, symbol of high culture. And it's been traditionally favored by uh, Chinese scholars and literati. Uh, UNESCO also announced that Wuqing was selected as an intangible uh, world cultural heritage. So about our group, uh, North American Wuqing Association, uh, it is a non-profit cultural arts organization founded in 1997. It's dedicated to the public presentation and preservation of the art of Wuqing, spreading community appreciation of Chinese culture and um, um, and in our local community and building a bridge of cultural exchange. Our organization's founder, Ms. Wang Fei, is a world-renowned uh, Wuqing artist, educator, and scholar. 
please feel free to uh, reach out to us after the program uh, if you are interested in learning more about uh, Qin and our group. Um, the first piece of our program is called Drunken Ecstasy. And as the performance ends, the presentation begins. The design of Fu Qing is full of symbolism. For example, the full length of Qing is 3 feet and 6.5 inches, which represents the 365 days a year. Oh, please enjoy the next piece. Thank you. And our next piece is called Yu Mei. Increase of the plum blossom. E Y Duan Chiao Bian Ji Mo Kai Wu Zhu Yi Shi Huang Tun. 独自愁更着风和雨 The Gu Qin, an instrument with thousands of years of history and culture embedded into it, being performed today truly is a spectacle to see. The Gu Qin Association of America deserves applause for teaching us about the Gu Qin and even playing pieces that are thousands of years old and full of history and culture. But now onto a performer who is far from a thousand years old. In fact, she's barely even three. family duet to another. As the various family duos step down, two more instruments with hundreds of years of history are brought into the limelight. Give me a quick introduction about the show. So first, um, what is it? It's one of the oldest music instruments originating in China, with the first um, recorded evidence of the shun from around 1100 BC. Uh, that can be covered or uncovered using a key, and pressing down on the key to uncover the hole allows you to play back. So today we are actually going to play on popular Western music piece, the Spanish bullfight dance, with this ancient Eastern instrument with thousands of years of history. We hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you.
Continuing on from those masterful performances, another instrument unlike any other we've seen so far is brought into center stage. And finally, the last instrument of the day takes center stage, accompanied with presentations and performances. Have I told you uh, the top uh, two, uh, two at the bottom of the is one or D. Um, these symbols also uh, also turn out that picture. So the top, so we already know that the number is already the note. The top is the finger to play the note with. In that case, it's the thumb. But like, there's a lot of controversy in this. Amount of hard work and fundraising. But even more than that, I'm just I'm so impressed with all of the music that you bring uh, to the community. I, I love the variety of music and the opportunity for people of all ages to get to share their music with the community. That, that's what I'm, I'm most passionate about. And your donation of this equipment will help us do even more of that. So thank you very much. The power of music is undeniable. It brings communities together and helps us learn about our culture and our ancestors. At Trinity Band's Library Music Hour concerts are slowly working towards uniting people of all ages and backgrounds through the one thing that is universally loved, music. And you can still sign up to perform in the upcoming Library Music Hour performance on Saturday, July 8th. On their website, you can also see the upcoming Library Music Hour shows, so feel free to sign up and perform in order to share a part of your culture and leave your mark on the community. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.